We are Cam and Heather on Sea Clef, and we are on the trip of a lifetime. Come share in our adventures as we take you through the Great Lakes to Chicago, down through the river system of the Midwest, along the panhandle of Florida, across the Gulf of Mexico, and down the west side of Florida, crossing through the Okeechobee Waterway to Eastern Florida. Then share in our adventures as we continue throughout the Bahamas and back up the Eastern seaboard, finally returning to Canada on America's Great Loop. We are on our way out of Cape May this morning. We are just coming to the inlet, checking out all the marinas. We are at Canyon Club. Freedom. Back that way. These guys are being free. That's the uh, field that we're going through. Today, our first day of travel in this two travel day segment takes us from Cape May, New Jersey to Atlantic City, New Jersey on a three and a quarter hour journey up the coast on the Atlantic Ocean. Our travels were 38.2 nautical miles and our average speed was 11.6 knots. We departed at 7.30 a.m. and arrived at 10.30 a.m. the same morning. The conditions on the crossing were excellent with gentle rollers and very little chop on the top of those rollers. Good morning. Good morning. Sea clap. We are on the Atlantic Ocean. We left Cape Bay at uh, around 10 after 7 this morning with buddy boat Caribbean Dream and we are headed for points north. Uh, I, think, I we're, think we're headed for Atlantic City. Yeah, I think we're headed for Atlantic City. It's supposed to rough up uh, a little later today. We've got some some swell underneath, and then it's been pretty flat, but it's starting to chop up on top of the swell. Uh, and uh, according to Heather's predictions, it will be rougher after lunch, so we're likely to uh, to make a short day of it and just go to Atlantic City and, and see what we do from there. but now I've taken some ginger-based gravel, uh, which is like grandma meat if you're American. I'm doing my best, I'm watching the horizon. Apparently I'm not doing a good job watching for crab pots. <laughs> that one's that close. close. Why don't you video take the water and show them how this very gentle water is making me feel good. It's not so much that, I mean, there's really no waves on it, but there's these great big rollers, which are probably impossible to see on the video. I don't know if you can tell or not, but you know, they're, 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 they're
we are just about in Atlantic City. We, uh, if you draw a straight line coming up the coast, we actually, uh, the, the coast kind of curves in, so we get further and further from shore, but as we get to Atlantic City, we get closer and closer to shore again. The rest of the trip up will actually be almost hugging the shore. We'll be so close to it. We are just coming into Atlantic City. It's like there's some fun to be had here. Not that I like Ferris wheels at all, really. Interesting. The first thing I noticed as we were coming closer to shore is back in there. Maybe you've seen, maybe not. There's uh, windmills. And I think it's the first time I've ever seen uh, wind-generated power uh, right inside a city. Look at this building up here. It's like a golf ball. I can even see the divot, the golf ball on the top of the building. I'm wondering what that building is. Anyway, this is uh, the entrance. We're coming in. We're going to go in, and uh, then we're going to turn to the left. Oh, a lighthouse. Alright, that's a better view of the lighthouse as we are coming into the cut. at Cameraman's Marina in Atlantic City. Unfortunately, Farley's, and I think that's the big one across the way, it has some event going on and they had no space available. So here we are. Um, he wanted us to tie up to a, a wall and we came in bow first to do that. And we ended up tucking in to, to this area and so we decided, well, let's make use of this floating dock that's down here. So Cam pulled out, turned the boat around, and uh, stuck our stern in here, which was no simple task. He did a good job doing that. And I jumped off and tied up this line because they were bringing in our friend's boat at the fuel dock. Got a line over here just to kind of keep us off the wall, and then ramp here. I'm so excited about this marina. <laughs> yeah, I love this railing. This is an awesome railing. And uh, this is the ramp. Don't step there. So here we are. We are tied in here kind of uniquely. And fortunately, if we need it, there is a ladder here. And uh, here come our friends now. I think I'll go catch some lights. We are pretty much at high tide. There is about a four and a half foot tide here. And see, the, the water is supposed to, uh, the water is supposed to end kind of right here under this dock. But it seems to have crept over into the street and is almost up to these garage doors. I don't know if we're having a super high tide, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of water. Good morning. It is 5.52 and we are underway from Atlantic City and I saw a beautiful sunrise. Thought I'd share it. Heather's run around doing lines and just making it out. Uh, is this Sin City 2.0 or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, on our way up from Atlantic City. Really didn't do anything here. Oh, Heather walked the boardwalk. On our second day of travel, we departed at 5.50 in the morning for an 82.4 nautical mile journey that brought us into Great Kills Harbor at just before noon that same day. We were quite keen to arrive as soon as possible as there was a significant thunderstorm looming from the west that we wanted to avoid. 
However, the water conditions on the second day were nothing short of superb. Perhaps it was the calm before the storm that would arrive later that day. Good morning from the bridge of the sea cliff. Good morning. It is, uh, I don't know, a little after 6 or is it later than that? It's 6.56. It's almost 7 a.m. Okay. Wow. So we're an hour in, basically. Yeah. We left about 5.50. Uh, from uh, Atlantic City. We're on a roly poly ocean uh, with great big waves, but they are very long periods. Big big swell. So it's, it's uh, a bit roly. Uh, on our next uh, turn, our angle to the waves will, will improve and they'll be more. They're, they're behind the beam right now, but they're not at the stern and I think when we do our next turn which is 17 miles away we will be more in a following sea which will be probably a, just a little more comfortable than what we've got right now but we'll see so we gotta, are we going to I think we should go to New York New York New York, New York, New York. <laughs> everybody it's time to party we're on the Atlantic Ocean cruising along at a fairly smooth pace lots of nice water out there some rollers behind us what are you trying to tell us Heather five thousand miles what's that that's about 90 600 kilometers or something like that, 9,600 kilometers, 5,000 nautical miles. You need to ring the bell. Let's go ring the bell. Who's driving the boat? Our buddy boat over there. Yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Ding, 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 ding. 5,000 miles! I 
I'm not sure if my phone can pick up on this, but we can see the hazy outline of New York City ahead of us. I can just see it as far as I can. See if it shows anything. We're about an hour out. So I think we are alongside Sandy Hook now. So this is a very long bit of land, and if we got to the end of it and they came around the other side, this is about as far down as we could go. some work around the boat, ordered groceries on Instacart, and then we went up to the bar for dinner and a beverage. We are at Great Kills, and uh, last night we were tied up to the dock, but uh, they had no room in the inn for us today, and so we have a mooring ball that they've uh, said that we can use. Uh, it's always nice to be on an anchor or a mooring ball. And uh, so we're quite happy to have it. But for now, what are we doing today? We are going to New York City. The Big Apple. After taking the city bus from Staten Island over to New York City. We started at the 9-11 Memorial and then grabbed a quick lunch before boarding the big bus hop-on hop-off tour for the downtown. We got off the bus in the theater district and we explored the area from there to Times Square where we got back on to finish our route. Then we took the bus back to our marina where we had a drink with Ken and Kathy of Caribbean Dream at the Yacht Club. We had a great dinner with leftovers and went to bed early, exhausted from our big day. Mm -hmm.